In this video, we're going to add a Google Map into our Rooms Detail page just down here, down below the carousels, to display the location based on the room's address. First, to be able to get the map location based on the address, we're going to use a gem called GeoCoder. And basically, what this gem does is that it will transform an address you type into a location with latitude and longitude and so that we can use that information to display our room's location on the Google map. Open our project, open Jam 5, and we're going to add the Jam gel code here, gel coder, and the version that we're going to use is greater than 1.4. All right, save it. Now open Jot Terminal, stop the server, I'll just clear it up, and then we run the bundle to install that Jam. All right, seems to be good. Now, once you've done that, uh, we need to add two new fields into our room model, latitude and longitude. So here I'm going to say type rails generate migrations add fields to room. And we're going to say latitude, the data type float and longitude float as well and hit enter. All right, and then we run Rails DB migrate to migrate this chain to the database. All right, that looks good. And now we just need to restart the server. Go back to our project folder, open F, models, and room.rb. So down here, uh, first we need to tell gel code which fields you want to be an address. And obviously, we already got address field, so I'm going to say gel coded by address, right? Because in the field, um, in the room model, we got the field's name address already. And then we say after validation, run the gel code to generate the latitude and longitude. And we're going to do that only if the address change. All right, so that's mean whenever you update your address, um, the gel code will validate that address first, and then it regenerates the latitude and longitude for you. All right, so it's time for us to add the Google Map to the show page. So go back to F, View, Rooms, and show.html.erb. Now I'm going to close um, everything here. Now that's fine. Just grab the color cell. Okay, so under here, I'm going to create a new command, say Google Map. And we just create a new div row. And we got a HR. All right, so inside this row, um, first, I'm going to create a new div, and this got an ID is called map. And here, I'll just say style equal, uh, let's say width. We set to 100%, and then for the high, we set to 400 pixel. All right, so that div is going to display the Google Map, and then we got a script. And we got socks equal this one https maps dot google uh, apis dot com slot maps slot api slot js and down here we got another script and I'm going to say create a function init shallize so here I'm going to say var location and first we set a new variable named location the latitude is going to be room dot latitude now notice that you can use this inside the javascript right the to display the value from a server all right and then we got let's say longitude is going to be room dot 
long e2. And then just create a new variable name map equal new google.maps.map. And here we say document.get element uh, by ID. And we pass a map, uh, which is this one. And then inside here, we run a several option. First, um, we got option is center. It's going to be location. And we zoom it to, let's say, 14. All right, so we make the center location of the map. Uh, it's the location of the room by saying this. And then outside of this function, we're going to say google.maps.event.addDOM listener. And here we're going to pass the window load and the name of the function initialize. All right, that seemed to be good. Let's go back here and hit refresh. Right now, scrolling a bit down. Um, we don't seem to be see anything. Let's open our Chrome Developer Tool and hit the console. All right, so here we can see that we got a syntax error. And if you click on this one, it's going to show you the line of code causing the error. Now, here we don't see the value of latitude and longitude, so that's why it's causing the error um, syntax. So, if you open the terminal, sorry, open your database, go into room, and if you hit refresh, we still don't see any latitude and longitude value here. The reason for that is because this room we create with address before we add the longitude and longitude. So what we're going to do here, first I'm going to close this one, and I want you to go into the rooms and go into update this room, go into uh, location, and there's a check here. Remember that gel code will generate the latitude and longitude if the address change. So first I'm going to change it to 97, hit save. All right, uh, if you open the database, hit refresh. Now we can see that we got latitude and longitude. Now you can change it back to 99 and hit save. Okay, if you refresh, it's going to regenerate the new latitude and longitude for you. All right, that's it. Looks good. Now let's go back to our room. Rooms slot one, hit enter. Okay, here we go. So now we got our map displaying perfectly. Now it would be nice if we can have the marker in the location of the room. So let's go back here. And under this function, I'm going to create a new variable name marker. And it's going to be new google.maps.marker. And inside here, we're going to pass position. It's going to be location. That's we got up here. And then uh, we got a map to map. All right, so we just pass a map variable to here. That's it. Go back here, hit refresh. Hey, look at this. That looks awesome. Now, even better, if you want, you can display a, a photo of this room on top of this marker. Let me show you how. So inside here, I'll just create a new a variable named in for window equal new google dot maps dot in for window and here I'm going to pass uh, the content it's going to be uh, a HTML code here so first we got div id uh, equal content now make sure that you got first you got a single quote and then inside here you can use the double quote and here we just need to say uh, image tag and we pass the room dot cover photos and here we just pass the uh, you can use medium or thumb it's up to you let's say thumb all right and then we just got to close the tag and here we need to say 
info window dot open we pass it map and the marker all right let's go here hit refresh okay so we don't have all right I think we got the wrong one is marker certify and hit refresh hey awesome so now we got a nice one let's change this one to medium that looks good guys looks much better that's cool Alright, so we just finished this task, a long one, but you learned quite a few things here, which is good. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to display a couple of other rooms nearby to this one on the same area down here. I'll see you then.